What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG TCG video. Today guys, we are going to be going over the new Doodle archetype that is set to release in Animation Chronicles 2022. I'm very excited to say the least to be discussing these cards, so without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So as per usual with these card game videos, I'll go over the monsters first, then the extra deck monsters, and then end it off with the spells and traps. And the first card that we're going to be discussing is Doodle Beast Stego, a level 5 earth dinosaur effect monster with 1200 attack and 1800 defense. And you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you control no monsters, or all monsters you control are dinosaur monsters, which more than likely because these are dinosaur cards, you're going to be playing this in a dinosaur deck so that's not going to be that hard you can special summon this card from your hand really nice to be able to get an easy special summon of a dinosaur monster to your field always nice to see and then if this card is normal or special summon you can add one doodle book spell and trap from your deck to your hand then discard one card so that second effect is very interesting um we don't really have too many doodle book spell and traps in fact i think we only have the one which we'll be discussing a little later on in the video so that is the one downside to that second effect is that you know you don't get too much benefit from that because you don't have a variety of what you can search so you're just going to be reluctant on searching for the one that we did get in this support but hopefully down the line we'll we'll get more support for this deck so maybe that can make this effect a little bit better because it can give you more options of what you can search for that particular scenario that you're in and then being able to discard a card that basically tells me guess what you get to basically Special summon this card free of charge as long as you have no monsters or as long as you have all your monsters being dinosaur, which is very easy to do. Guess what? You get to special summon this card. Then you get to search for your Dota book spell and trap. And then you can discard a card more than likely trying to discard miscellaneous source if you have that in your hand or any card that has graveyard effects. So overall, I actually think this is a really solid card. It's easy to get out into your field. It's a searcher for your Dota book spells and traps, which again... Not really too relevant right now because we only have the one, but still being able to search for that for potential later on if this deck gets more support, like obviously that's nice. And being able to send a card to your graveyard that can lead to some graveyard potential, always nice to see as well. So in my opinion, pretty solid start to this new archetype, but that's going to be it for this card. Let's jump into the boss monster of the deck which is Doodle Beast Tyranno, a level 8 Earth Dinosaur Effect Monster with 2400 attack and 1200 defense, and you can tribute some of this card by tributing one dinosaur monster, and you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. During the main phase, if there's a dinosaur monster on the field, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves, tribute some of this card from your hand, and if this card is normal summon, you can destroy one monster on the field, then if this card was tribute summoned by tributing a doodle beast monster it gains attack equal to half the attack the destroy monster had on the field so this is actually a pretty cool card um the first effect allowing you to basically at quick effect speed be able to tribute one of your monsters to summon this monster from your hand is pretty cool so you can basically summon this during your opponent's turn to be able to get this big beefy monster onto the field then since it's then normal summon you get to pop one of your opponent's monsters that's on their field and if you tribute a doodle beast monster which since stego is very easy to summon out to your field if you don't do anything with stego and just keep it on the field you can tribute stego during your opponent's turn summon your tyranno and you can even do this during your turn i guess um you can tribute summon into your tyranno and since this card is now normal summon you get the pop opponent's monster on the field and then your monster can get even more attack points to maybe get over some bigger monsters like monsters that have like 3,000 attack or something like that so honestly in my opinion I actually do think this is a pretty nice card in my opinion now I don't think this is the best boss monster that we've seen for dinosaur cards obviously the best is still by far ultimate conductor tyranno I know I don't think this card compares at all to that card but I do think this is a nice alternative option I guess you can say I would still prefer to play conductor instead of this card but honestly I don't think this card is that bad in my opinion I think it's just 
a good card because you still have to normal summon this card in order to get that second effect off. I would have liked it if you would have been able to just have to special summon the card, but maybe that would have been a little too good, even though, in my opinion, I don't really necessarily think it would be, in my opinion. I think it would have been a lot better. So, in my opinion, it's just a good card. It's not Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but I do think there is some benefit to playing this card. But that's going to do it for the effect monsters, and we have no extra deck monsters to discuss, so we're going to jump straight into the spells and traps, and we have one trap card to discuss, and this is the final card for the video, which is Doodle Book, uh, uh, uh. A normal trap card with the effect of you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. If your dinosaur monster is targeted for an attack, negate the attack. Then you can special summon one Doodle Beast monster from your graveyard. And if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Also destroy it during the end phase. If this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it. Add one level 5 or higher dinosaur monster from your deck to your hand. So this is actually a pretty cool Cool card as well so basically you can activate this card it negates an attack from your opponent and then you get to special summon a doodle beast monster from your graveyard but it gets destroyed during the end phase so you know if your opponent still has multiple attacks that they can do you can summon the monster to your field and maybe if you can do some quick effect stuff to where maybe you can go into a link summon or something like that you know that would be pretty nice as well I don't know if dinosaurs can necessarily do that but hey it's also a body that you could put onto your field so that way you maybe not potentially not die from your opponent because even though it negates one attack they probably can still have some other monsters that can ram over your other monsters so having some sort of monster on the field that can maybe protect you from even more damage is pretty nice. And then if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish it to be able to add a level 5 or higher dinosaur monster from your deck to your hand, which is really cool. And I do like the fact that it's just dinosaur. It doesn't have to be a Doodle Beast monster. So I really do like that because that means you can add, you know, your Doodle Beast. You know, you can add your Stego or your Tyranno to your hand. Or you can add an Ultimate Conductor Tyranno to your hand. So the fact that you can easily get a boss monster into your hand by banishing this card from your graveyard. And you can send this thanks to Stego's effect. You can just discard this card if it's already in your hand and then the next turn you can banish it add your ultimate conductor to your hand and then you can do your combo from there like in my opinion i actually think this is another pretty solid card in my opinion but with that being said that's going to be it for the new doodle beast archetype um, general thoughts on this new archetype. I'm very impressed by it, actually. Um, I didn't think doodles would be as good as they were, especially since I did the research prior to actually recording this video because I didn't know who in the world used these doodle cards. Apparently, it was used by Frederick from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 anime, which, if you don't know who that character is, I don't blame you. He was one of the three kids that was a part of Yuya and Yuzu's group while they were in the Yusho Duel School. School. Um, he was the one with like the weird green hair. If you guys even remember that character, like shout out to you because I did not remember that character at all. I actually had to look up who the heck Frederick was because that name was just not ringing a bell at all. And it was just more because of the case that those kids weren't very memorable in my opinion. But pretty cool that he got, got some cards being printed into the actual TCG and OCG. And the fact that this support is actually not bad in my opinion. I could definitely see these cards being played in Dinosaur Days, especially Stego because it's a very easy monster to get onto the field because it's special summon itself very easily to your field. And it can help you get miscellaneous swords to your graveyard so you can start doing your miscellaneous crap. So that's pretty cool. And even being able to send your doodle book to the graveyard as well if it's in your hand. So that way you could potentially banish it next turn to get an ultimate conductor to your hand or even your Tyranno to your hand is also really nice in my opinion and Tyranno probably the weakest one in my opinion but I still don't think it's a bad card at all probably would still prefer to play ultimate conductor as my boss monster instead of this card but I don't think it's a bad option in my opinion so overall do you like the Doodle Beast archetype? You know, also with these cards, very interesting artworks to say the least. And I would actually like to see more of these Doodle Book cards, especially because I would like to have more searchers with Stego, but also I would like to see some more Doodle Beast cards because I think this archetype has a lot of potential to even stand up on its own if it gets more support and it actually gets 
good support. But with that being said, that's going to be it for this OCG TCG video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the new Doodle cards. Um, do you think these cards are good? Do you think they're okay? Or do you think these cards aren't really that good at all? And let me know your guys' thoughts on Frederick's cards of all people getting released. And is there other obscure characters that you would love to see get their cards printed into the OCG and TCG. We'd love to hear all your guys' thoughts on this down below. But with that being said, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day.